3,296. That's how many days it had been since McNeese softball last beat LSU. 5,109. That's how many days it had been since they last beat LSU at home. And tonight, the Cowgirls had the chance to reset both of those numbers to zero. A Cowgirl Diamond record attendance of 1,448 was on attendance tonight, hoping to get a glimpse of McNeese's first win over LSU in nine years. But unfortunately, early on, it didn't look good. LSU hung three runs on the board in the top of the first before McNeese even picked up their bats. But then in the third inning, still down three to nothing with a runner on first. It was Emily Phillips. She gets a hold of one, sending it over the wall and left, cutting into that Tiger lead. Then later on in the inning, an LSU error in right field would bring in Alea Seneca. That ties up the ball game at three, and that's where it would stay until Chloe Gomez, who reached third after a successful challenge, found her to be safe. Scored on an LSU pass ball as the Cowgirls took the 4-3 lead heading into the 7th. LSU fails to score again as McNeese for the first time since 2014 and the first time at home since 2009 beats LSU 4-3. Coach Landrino, how are we feeling? I'm happy our team played well. And that's what we have. Like, we've always made, you know, look, they've always played really well. And I felt like we've always made a couple mistakes that took us out of the game. And today, after the first inning, just settling in. And, you know, look, I don't want, like, every game matters to us and every team matters. And we respect the heck out of LSU. But for our kids to win the way they did. And, and look, if I'm like, let's be honest. Like, to be able to do it in front of your home crowd and people show up and they get to see a good softball game. And we come on that end of it. Hopefully it builds some momentum going here in the future for the rest of the, for the rest of the season. And hopefully our fan base continues to be supportive.